In this video, we discuss the origin of ancient biology and genetics. Ancient biology from the perspective of the original man and woman is much different than what is taught in schools. In fact, in many cases, it is the exact opposite. Before we get started, it's only right that I thank the Most High and greet the children of Israel in a proper way. Peace and greetings, brothers and sisters. All thanks and praises due to the Creator, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I bear witness the 24 elders are the custodians of divine unity, that Koshi Yabahuehu is the king of this world and the divine knower of its beginning and end. Master Farad Muhammad is the custodian of universal energy and the forces of nature in our midst. The good news was delivered through the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. The honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine example to follow of how to hold the commandments and do the works and travel from man and woman to God. I am thankful to speak to no other than the children of Israel, the 144,000 custodians of divine life who are responsible for rebuilding the character and the self-improvement of the lost found nation, making us fit to accept our own and be ourselves once again. Peace, shalom, assalamu alaikum. What is ancient biology? Biology is the study of the 144,000 aspects of character and parts of the body that they correspond to. These 144 aspects of perfect character are the origin of the 144,000 animal and plant totems. Why is character important? Understanding character is important as all disease and mutation is a result of neglecting one or more aspects of character. How are animals and plants formed? Animals and plants originate from the body of the original man and woman. Each part of the body corresponds to the original animal. Who is the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet earth, father of civilization, and god of the universe. Why do animals and plants only represent one aspect of character? Animals and plants are not unified beings as humans are. They reflect the integrity of the character of the dominant society. What are some aspects of character? According to Black Root Science, they include courage, wisdom, goodness, strength, grace, honesty, authority, gentleness, abundance, beauty, friendliness, unlaziness, humor, and many, many more, totaling in 144,000. The vast majority of these parts or aspects of character do not have names in the English language. In the original languages, every aspect has two names, one for the animal and one for the plant. One original plant and one original animal were created for each aspect of your character. Where are the perfect animal and plant totems? 144,000 animal and plant totems are held in the custody of the 144,000 judges. What about the foul and poisonous animals? Moral character creates beautiful forms, and immoral character creates ugly forms. Modern scientists have found the effects of certain words on water molecules. All the foul and poisonous animals that we see today come from the character of the dominant society. For the past 6,000 years, we have been experiencing the world of the man and woman who were made from the recessive genes of the original man and woman. This cycle of evil was started on the island of Patmos or Pelan through a process of selective breeding or artificial selection. While the original man and woman has perfect character under the perfect society, the recessive man and woman has imperfect character and lacks the seed of morality. Thus, animals and plants reflect the dominant society. All poisonous and foul animals and plants are deviations from the original 144,000 plants and animal totems and aspects of perfect character. For example, the blood-sucking animals of today are representative of the greed of the dominant society. What about evolution? Evolution teaches that man evolved from animal. The opposite is true. All animals and plants are derived from a part of the mind of man and woman. The law of evolution is really the law of integrity. In other words, plants and animals evolve from the integrity of the character of the dominant society. How can an animal come from the mind of man and woman? There have been recent studies that have scratched the surface of this idea. These studies include concepts of the mammalian, insectoid, and reptilian aspects of the brain. These animals derive from parts of the body of the original man and woman. So what about DNA? Currently, there are two active strands of DNA out of a total of 12 active strands of DNA in our natural state. 
This process was set into motion 50,000 years ago to alter the human body by forgetting aspects of character through self-imposed isolation. This self-imposed isolation caused 10 strands of DNA to become dormant. This change allowed for the recessive genes of the original man and woman to be expressed phenotypically 6,000 years ago. So what makes a person recessive? A person is recessive after the black germ has been deliberately bred out over the course of seven generations. It takes one generation of breeding with the original man or woman to graft the black germ back. So what is the black germ or gene? The black germ is the seat of morality or seat of God. It allows God to incarnate as an inner God or a new personality or soul. There are a total of 1 billion, 8 million original gods that incarnate on a given planet at a single time, each forming a new personality each time. The black germ is self-generating and is able to regenerate after the law of momentum has run its course. So what about ancient lifespan and ancient life expectancy? For more on this, check out our video entitled Ancient Lifespan and Life Expectancy. We will leave a comment that links to this video. Peace and thank you for watching.